our fake space program is way better than India's fake space program. We faked going to the moon way better than you guys did. Nice try though. India just faked a moon landing using graphics from a Nintendo GameCube. Look at them, so happy of this achievement. I guess they found the technology that Don Pettit lost. They must think the G5 is frying our brains already. They landed a lander and a rover. <laughs> There's no way you believe that. Come on. Allegedly, India is the fourth country to land on the moon. Allegedly. So let's look at the details. All right, so we'll start off with some more cartoons of what they allegedly sent there. Here's some specifications of the lander and the rover, and then the lander payloads. Here's some footage of the moon allegedly orbiting the moon. So all you gotta do is get a bunch of people, put them in a room, put some numbers up on a board, and then it's totally legit. There's honestly not much to say about this, except that it's really sad that people even believe it. I hate to break it to you guys, but cartoons are not reality. Yep, we're this far from the moon, totally legit, totally real. Yep, totally legit, don't question everything, just believe what you're told. And of course, you can't have space propaganda without Freemasonry. What a coincidence. Yo, you can't even make this stuff up. Grand Lodge of India is the governing body of Freemasonry within India. It was officially constituted in 1961. And then just a couple months later, in 1962, the Indian National Committee for Space Research is formed. What a coincidence. And all the indoctrinated people are just going to believe it. It's insane. I don't know why, but all of this just reminds me of Don Pettit. Here's a pic of their technology they destroyed. You guys, it's time to wake up. We never went to the moon. It's simply a light in the sky. It's time to wake up and stop believing in cartoons, okay? So the country of India landed on the moon today. You want to see it? Oh, this is great. This is it. This is the actual moon landing footage. <laughs> That looks worse than a cartoon! You think that's actually them landing on the moon? But wait, it gets better! They're all looking at this thinking it's freaking real! People are applauding. Let us all wait to hear from the Secretary Department of Space and Chairman Isro, Sri S. Somnath. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! This is a joke, right? Even NBC's fake landing video looked better than that. And this is crap! Who's believing this? <laughs> if you believe that, I got a giant block of cheese to sell you. Shabadoo, Mooskies! Shabadoo! Mark safe from believing India's CGI images are real landing on the moon footage. Mommy, why do they keep lying to humanity and pretending they can go to the moon and space? It's because these people are evil, my dear. They all want to hide the evidence of creation. They all work together to hide this truth. Look at China's moon landing from a few years ago. It's just CGI imagery, just like India's. Oh, Mommy, aren't these people ashamed? Why do they try so hard to hide the evidences of a creator? These CGI graphics look just like 80s arcade games like Space Invaders. Another episode of how dumb they think we are. India has landed on the moon. And this video is what they're trying to pass off as actual footage of them landing on the moon. After NASA's on record 15 times saying that we don't have the technology anymore, to leave low Earth orbit, which is 250 miles up, supposedly. And they also intentionally destroyed 13,000 pages of telemetry data, but somehow we could go to the moon in the late 60s, early 70s with landline technology. And now we have iPhones and Wi-Fi and all this amazing technology, but we can't go back. But India did it today, so. But I am telling you right now, that your back there is not real. I can't. I just can't. It's so dumb. Like, is that supposed to be graphics? Like when you're driving your car in Google Maps, you see a little car. But I mean, the surface looks like they're trying to pass that off as real footage. 
which looks a lot like the footage from the 60s, which looks a lot like our old technology. India, do you have anything to tell us? Did you steal our technology that got us to the moon? Because NASA said they lost it. Your grainy black and white moon photo looks a heck of a lot like ours. I'm sorry, I've had a crappy day, but I got home and my mom's like, did you know that India went to the moon today? <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. Who is here to encourage us and he is critically looking at the visuals. So I watched that. <laughs> best video I've ever watched. Like, we thought our moon landing <laughs> looked jinky. <gasps> well, India, you have taken the cake on this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, NASA, call India. They can do your next video. Humanity is lost. They believe CGI images as if they were real. They believe the Tolai vision. Just look how easy it is to fool entire nations to simply CGI images. You can make entire nations believe things like the moon landing. It is all in their minds because they saw it on TV. And no matter how hard we try to make them see, they are blind, completely blinded by the lies of the tell-lie vision. They believe governments are telling us the truth. They take jabs because the government tells them to do so. They defend the globe lie because they have been indoctrinated since childhood. They reject the truth of the Bible and the firmament and just believe what the government says. I have no hope for humanity anymore. I did my part. We get censored when we try to speak out the truth. They prevent us from monetizing our channels. And now want to control us even more with digital currency. If only humanity woke up and stood up, we could turn this thing around. Unfortunately, I have no hope this could happen. Mm, why suspicious? So, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too. India just tried to fake a moon landing using graphics from a PlayStation 1. It's even worse than the first fake moon landings in the 60s, and that's the only thing they really achieved here. It literally looks like space invaders in the arcades from when we were kids. You've gotta be a fool to not see this as a complete hoax. Bollywood CGI is like Hollywood CGI but from Wish. They switch from the worst CGI ever to fake the landing to a Bollywood movie set to fake the moon walk. It's disgusting how people fall for this blatant pantomime show. These are all official images provided by so-called trusted sources and displayed all over the mainstream as real. It's like they wanted to appeal to your inner child or they're only trying to fool the children because this is obvious lies for any adult with working eyes. This is the collage posted by the BBC today. I wonder how many Indian people are furious about this deception. Now I don't want to believe that the moon landing was fake. Because why would they lie? And now I have a few answers to the questions we've been asking. But still, there's a lot more questions that need to be answered. So first, I asked if the sun is in space why is it so dark and why can't we see any stars and you know what they said to me the reason why we can't see any stars is because it's daytime come on brother and I've never been to the moon so I don't know what it's like but why is he moving like that it looks fake and this is supposed to be the tin pan, drum pan, made out of aluminum foil spacecraft that they say landed on the moon. And the reason why he's wrapping that up 
in tin foil because it was really hot on the moon so it was protecting it I mean come on what is that that looks like a school child's art project it looks a mess and the pair of Timberlands I understand that they was wearing protective footwear now but why is there only one footprint what are these men only got one foot some people say that the moon landing was staged we up and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon Go which ahead. was Go ahead. what because uh, uh, there wasn't any television there wasn't anybody taking a picture you watched animation nasa is hollywood it's just disney for adults everything you see in the supposed international space station can be easily reproduced in studios in fact all of their footage is done in film studios. NASA has studios bigger than Hollywood. They even rent their facilities to movie companies. Space is fake. The Earth is flat.